In today's top three ways to make money on sports cards, we take a look at vintage football cards. This video is brought to you by NoOffSeason.com. Visit NoOffSeason.com today to learn how to make money flipping sports cards. Get a free 30-day trial to build your sports card investment portfolio and get personalized advice. Let's do a quick dive into the football card market for cards printed between 1980 and 1989. Notable data from marketmoversapp.com. Use the promo code NOOFFSEASON for 20% off for life after a free 30-day trial. Football cards from 1980 through 1989 rose huge in value from September 13th, 2023 through November 7th, 2023. This is the beginning of the NFL season. This replicated a similar pattern from 2022, which shows us the optimal time to sell these cards. Because this data shows us that we can expect to profit significantly from football cards from 1980 through 1989 during the beginning of the NFL season, we're going to focus on three football cards from this time period that we can make money on. But first, we want to reiterate that marketmoversapp.com promo code to save 20% on this great data tool. Use code NOOFFSEASON. All right, the first way to make money on vintage football cards, John Elway 1984 top. We're going to crack and submit to PSA. We're targeting buying BGS 85s, SGC 85s, and CSG 85s that sell for around $100. Included in a PSA bulk submission, your grading cost will be around $21, including prorated shipping. Your likely floor is a PSA 8.5, which sells for $125 throughout the year. But remember, it's likely to rise by about 20% during the first five to 10 weeks of the NFL season based on the historical data presented at the beginning of this video. If you bump up half a grade to a PSA 9, though, you're looking at being able to move this card for between $325 and $400. For links to buy this card in BGS 8.5, SGC 8.5, and CSG 8.5, click the links below in the description of this video. Up next is the Jerry Rice 1986 Tops Rookie. This is another crack and submit to PSA. Why? Because just like Elway's 84 Tops rookie, Rice's first card sells for much more in PSA slabs than SGC, BGS, and CSG slabs. But you have to target the right grades. Here's what you should do. Look to buy 8.5s in BGS, SGC, and CSG, all of which sell for around $150 to $225. You're looking to bump up a half grade to profit huge with a PSA 9 that sells for around $2,000. But even if you get a PSA 8.5, you'll roughly double your money as a PSA 8.5 sells for more than $500. If by chance you get a PSA 8, you'll still be able to sell it for more than the $150 that you bought your other grading company 8.5 for and you'll only be out your grading, shipping, and marketplace fees. All in all, it's worth risking losing a few bucks to potentially profit between $200 and $1,500. For links to buy this card in BGS 8.5, SGC 8.5, and CSG 8.5, click the links below in the description of this video. And now, it's our number one way to make money on vintage football cards. But first, something special I want to tell you about a project we've launched called Sports Card School. New to the hobby or re-entering after a collecting hiatus? Want to become an advanced sports card flipper or high roller? Sports Card School is for you. Visit sportscardschool.com today and get a free 30-day trial. Sportscardschool.com. That's sportscardschool.com. Our number one way to make money on vintage football cards is none other than the Joe Montana 1981 Tops Rookie. Let's get to cracking. That's right, another crack and submit. Just like the Elway and the Rice plays, I've made this Montana play for myself and profited huge. And I want you to also. Here's what you'll do. First, look to buy 8.5s in BGS, SGC, and CSG, all of which sell for between $300 and $350. 
You're looking to bump up a half grade to profit huge with a PSA 9 that sells for between $2,500 and $3,000. But even if you get a PSA 8.5, you'll roughly double your money as a PSA 8.5 sells for more than $600. If by chance you get a PSA 8, you'll still be able to sell it for the $300 that you bought your other grading company 8.5 for and you'll only be out your grading, shipping, and marketplace fees. All in all, just like the card of his favorite wide receiver, Jerry Rice, it's worth risking losing a few bucks to potentially profit between $300 and $1,500 on Montana's rookie. For links to buy this card in BGS85, SGC85, and CSG85, click the links below in the description to this video. Please like this video and comment below for more information on how to crack slabs. And remember, if you wait to sell these cards until the window of September and October, you're likely to profit around 20% more than you would by selling during other times throughout the year. Also remember, for the best results, check the highest possible subgrades when you're buying BGS and CSG slabs. For more great content on how to make money flipping sports cards, visit nooffseason.com. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel at youtube.com slash paulhickey.